What's up, peoples? It's Rasta Boy TV, and it's your boy, Real Island Boy, on Twitter, Instagram, and damn Snapchat. Make sure you follow me on everything to keep updated about what's going on, what's popping. Y'all know I got the tea sometime. How y'all doing this summer? I hope y'all have a little V-neck on, trying to show a little, you know, cleave. Anyway, how y'all doing this summer? I know it's hot. Most of the East Coast has been on 80 plus degrees and higher. Um, so hopefully y'all staying hydrated, drinking our water, and sometimes y'all cocktails. Hey. Anyway, tonight, the episode of Have and Haves Not, I think we're on episode um, five, The Heart Man, The Heart of a Man. In my last episode, we talk about that um, Hannah had delivered bad news to um, Jim Cryer about um, his son overdose in on you know cocaine or drugs, whatever. Cause we're not sure exactly what he OD'd on, but Hannah had delivered the bad news. Now he wants Hannah to do more work, I guess, in trying to get in touch with DA or whatever, trying to do more work for him. And Hannah was like, "Bitch, I don't work for you no more. Leave me the hell alone." It was much sense for me to come, in, come here to tell you the news about your son passing away because I did your wife a favor. But don't be trying to be all asking me to do your, you know, damn favor. I'm done. And Hannah was kind of like hurt, you know, a bit by, by the situation because, you know, she kind of worked for these people that kind of, kind of effed her over by almost killing her damn son. Um, and they try to cover it up as a family. So it's really kind of, you know, shaky about what Hannah, you know, I have a good heart, it seems like, but shit. She had a good heart. Also, she had to think about what it did to her and her damn family also. After all that said and done, you know, Veronica is still up to her damn mess trying to control Jeffrey. Now, um, David is over the house to come tell Jeffrey to get his ass come on because um, now that, um, you know, shit is, you know, has hit the fan with what went on with um, them covering up the crime and everything. She has nothing with Jeffrey now. But she does have some with Jeffrey now, even though I don't know why Jeffrey's so damn scared. Remember, she found out that Candace and Jeffrey probably killed Quincy. Well, not probably. They did kill, kill Quincy, but she don't really know for sure. She just know that she saw blood, and she figured more likely Candace and Jeffrey did it. Jeffrey's there as nervous as always. You know, he can never think straight or have a really solid ground to anything. He always... Anyway, so Jeffrey is still... You know, being, being, um, Jeffrey's still caught up with that mess with Veronica, his mother, um, fooling him to, um, to, to still go along with her dumb plan to get married to that damn dumb girl, Vanessa. Sorry for the camera being shaking, it's in my hand. Um, to make, to make get married to that dumb girl, Melissa, and, um, live at the house that she lives at and, you know, take care of the baby. I'm like, Jeffrey, probably that girl's not even pregnant. I don't see no belly. She's been... From last season to this season, she should be showing by now. She's not showing. And then, you know, you're trying to still wave this little thing over his head about, you know, the issue that happened with Candace and him with killing um, Quincy. Now Jeffrey is, like, going with your plan now. Anyway, while she there talking to Jeffrey and David, there goes the maid bringing the phone to her. The phone rings or the phone call came in that Wyatt OD'd. And... Jeffrey's losing his mic, you know, Je that was Jeffrey's baby. Even though Jeffrey and him didn't mess around, Jeffrey and him had a good connection. Sorry, him and Je sorry, Jeffrey had a good connection on him where he was lusting over White, um, of, sorry, over um, White to the, to the point where, you know, he almost messed with White while I was sleeping. Anyway, um, Candace finally got the money to bring to damn war. War was almost trying to um, kill, um, or shoot um, Benny, but lo and behold, Candace sent a text message of the of the money right away. He got the picture, so he figured more like, oh, the bitch got the money now. So Candace went up with him at some random location. She's like, it was like in the middle of a nowhere, like a some drive, some parking lot of that nobody goes to, where a big old church looks like it was um, in the background. And pick it that time, pick it from a diamond fence. I don't know who lives there, but you know, a little location where all somebody can see them. She gave the damn money to him in cash. All that money in cash in in duffel bag. <laughs> I'm like, this is so funny giving people money, million, a, a, is it a million or two million dollars in, in a duffel bag in in the broad daylight. Anyway, he got all the money. He's not happy. He's pleased. Candace is a nervous wreck. She's crying. She's you know she don't know what to do with her damn self because she didn't know that this damn dude that was you know her. Homie from a long time ago would have 
you know, put her through all this stress of trying to get this money, which she kind of cheated him out of if she was being honest and giving him this money in the first place. Anyway, remember I told about that last episode with a guy who works at Benny's shop, the white guy, I can't remember what his name is, planted a spare tire with drugs in it and gave some lead to some damn cops that to pull his ass over. They pull him over and guess what? They search a car, find the money for one, and it was like, well, it's not illegal to bring money around in a bag. Okay, true. But it's illegal to have drugs in your damn car in a damn tire. So now they do this thing that Candace set him up. Because he just told the Candace days ago, I mean, out minutes or whatever ago, and now cops are pulling him over and saying that drugs is in his car. So I think that Candace set him up. So, you know, this dude is going crazy now that Candace may have set him up and is losing his damn mind. I'm like, oh, God, poor Candace now. Candace just got all this money for you against the two houses that she has, oh, you know, own or whatever because of the, you know, the, 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 the bundoozement of getting money from, you know, Richard, I'm um, sorry, Jim Cryer. Now she got to deal with um, this dumb war now talking about, oh, Candace set you up. Candace didn't set you up. Candace's brother... Um, mechanic man set your ass up and now you're gonna be going to jail. Anyway, Jeffrey went over to um to Catherine House and he lost it. He's bawling and crying, everything like because you know he's gonna miss his boo, Wyatt, and his mother's there in his ears all talking and all greasy to him, talking about um, you know, stop acting like a this, acting like a dad. Um Jeffrey's about to fuck his mother up if she don't get out of his ears and stop talking all that shit to him. Anyway, I gotta go. Make sure y'all check out the Have and Haves Not every Tuesday night on OWN. If you have not yet subscribed to OWN, call your local cable provider and get OWN on y'all TV. Stop asking me to download the, the, um, the episode of OWN, Have and Haves Not here on YouTube because I don't have the, the right to do so. But I can give y'all a recap about what I thought about the episode and then y'all can subscribe, like, and give y'all comments. No shady comments, that is. And if y'all want to be shady, keep it to yourself. I'll catch y'all next week for another recap here on Rastavoy TV. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and follow me on social media, Real Island Boy. Y'all be good. Bye.